The princess opened up in a new series titled Haken and Met Merit are Norway, where she confesses that her marriage has had its ups and downs. Norway's crown prince Haken and princess Met Merit have been married for over 20 years. Their journey, which was not without its challenges from the outset, has seen its fair share of trials. Moreover, she herself has admitted that it's difficult for her to watch videos of her proposal or her initial public appearances two decades ago. Now, as they approach their 23rd wedding anniversary, which took place in August 2001, a new series, Hakon and Met Merit are Norway, has been released, featuring very personal revelations from both of them. The princes openly discuss intimate aspects that have hitherto remained unspoken, acknowledging that their marriage hasn't been without its challenges. In 2023, as Hakan and Met Merit celebrated their 50th birthdays, they dedicated themselves to a journey across their country, visiting places of personal significance and sharing their experiences. Five trips were documented in the series, showcasing both the natural landscapes of Norway and the reflections of the royal couple. The future monarchs of Norway appear closer than ever, acknowledging that their marriage, like many others, hasn't been devoid of difficulties. I think, when it works, will be a very good team the prince responds to a question about how they would describe their relationship. It's not always smooth sailing, but I think we complement each other quite well, the heir adds. Met Merit also speaks openly and candidly acknowledges that things don't always go smoothly between them from time to time. The situation can become a bit tense, she admits. Yet, she recognizes that she and her husband make a cohesive team I feel that we're a very good team. Sometimes, the situation can deteriorate, but I think it's because we have a great sense of security from working together for almost 22 years. We know. I know Hakan very well. I know what deeply concerns him and what helps him. They met at a music festival and managed to keep their courtship discreet in its initial stages. The prince explained this in his memoirs. Some friends knew that Met and I were dating, but very few. After all, she had a young son, so it wasn't obvious that the two of us would become a couple. There wasn't much certainty surrounding their relationship within their circle, and when the prince temporarily relocated to the United States, it seemed like everything could be put on hold. However, upon his return, they reunited, and that's when everything came to light. Fedrilin's Venon newspaper revealed the identity of the heir's girlfriend, and the press began a barrage of scrutiny, not always in a friendly manner. The fact that Met Moret was a commoner, a single mother with a father incarcerated in prison, didn't help matters. Add to that the revelation that she appeared on a reality show while pregnant, and a true storm ensued. The press intensified its headlines, and the paparazzi their flashes. From the discovery of their courtship to the confirmation of her engagement to the crown prince, a year passed, which still turns her stomach as she would often say. In the memoirs published by Haken, the princess spoke of the harm done by some articles concerning her parents. My relationship with my father became even more painful. We already had complicated relationships, and some of the press took advantage of that, he said. It was a surreal experience seeing people on television belittle your girlfriend, the prince recalls. Almost a quarter of a century has passed since those challenging beginnings, and along the way, They've had to contend with rumors of crisis. In the princess's case, poor health, which has often kept her sidelined. For more information on the events on your agenda, all these health complications are due to pulmonary fibrosis, a chronic degenerative condition diagnosed in 2018. Since then, her public appearances have been limited, and she also doesn't travel abroad. Due to King Harold's health problems, which necessitated urgent hospitalization in a Malaysian hospital during a private vacation and subsequently being evacuated for further treatment in his own country, the press is questioning the possibility of an abdication. Like the Queen of Denmark, Margrethe did shortly before the end of 2023. 
this would make Haken and met merit the new Norwegian monarchs. Although the old king, who is 89 years old and has been on the throne for 33 years, seems reluctant to relinquish his position, no, really no, I adhere to what I've always said I swore an oath to Parliament, and that lasts a lifetime.